What's up guys, Nate here, and today I have a fun little video in store for you guys. So as you've probably seen by the title of the video, today's video is going to be checking out my entire Pokemon collection along with doing some little reorganizing around the Nate Collects office. Or my bedroom is better known, but anyways, the point is today we're going to be checking out all my binders, seeing what cards I have in there since it's been a little bit since we've kind of went through them, along with organizing my shelf off to the side here, which has gotten, uh, a little discombobulated, but that's nonetheless. We're gonna check out some awesome stuff, do a little reorganizing, and have a good time while we're doing it. But anyways, I guess without any further ado, let's kind of take a step back and check out the kind of Nick Collects office area. Okay, so as you can guys see, the uh, the the office area is uh, it's a little bit discombobulated right now. There's the obsidian packs from the last video there that are still yet to get bulk sorted. I have a couple more hits over here that I have to put in a binder, along with a spider up. Don't ask why he's there. And then also some cards here that I'm working on a Pokemon deck for. I'm sure you'll see a video on all of my decks soon, but we'll take a quick look at them today too. And then of course over here is the corner card of the week, which will be changing next Wednesday. So this is your last time you're going to see Rayquaza until I put it back in the rotation. But also over here I have my deck box along with my little mini tin full of, uh, I guess, dice and damage counters. But yeah, this is going to get cleaned off really quick, just like that. Okay, so, so all cleaned up now. Now I guess we can actually take a look at some binders. So slapping the first one down here, I'm sure you guys know what this binder is. Of course it goes along with this one right here. It is the wrong way, but it is my Ancient Origins complete set. Of course, you know, I'm going to flip through it. You've seen a whole video on this, I'm sure. If not, go watch that video. But yes, my fully complete Ancient Origins binder. Mostly the cool pages are over here with, you know, all the full arts on them. A little bit of glare from the camera. And of course, Rayquaza is missing because he's right the, there. But, you know, nonetheless, it is a really cool binder. I think this is probably my favorite set I've ever completed. I just, it, it's so nostalgic to me. And it was like my first Pokemon set that I actually took a look at. So I think it's really, really cool for that aspect. All right, next binder up will be, as you can see, LO2023 Lost Origin right here, which of course, is fully complete as well if I can actually get the band off of it all right attempt number two here so we'll flip this open as you can see uh, all of Lost Origin fully complete here of course not all the reverse holes are done this isn't a master set but honestly I'm very happy with where it's at according to you know my standards I guess but yes so this set is fully complete we have all the cards in it. I'll do a quick flip through, I guess, of the uh, the main set here with, the, obviously, Giratina there, our boy, and then Zoroark up top. And then I think the next page, yes, there it is, should be all of the full arts there with, of course, some good juicy alternate arts. Berserker there looking awesome. Gudra, Aerodactyl, and, of course, our favorite, the alternate art Giratina, which I've made a slew of videos on, so I'm sure you knew I've had that card. If not, uh, you, now you do. But, uh, yeah, we'll go through this. couple gold cards over here into the gallery with, of course, the peak choose being the kind of big ones in there and then you know gold chunky chew because you can't go wrong with the gold chunky chew opal nessa and then the mu v max right there so that's pretty much it for lost origin and i guess next we'll check out obsidian flames which will have a couple cards missing in it just because i'm using them for decks now but it's still a nice binder to take a look at so of course it's red because you know charizard is orange but anyways the obsidian flames binder here will be missing a couple cards like i think i pulled wove it out for a deck as well as all of the charizards except for the alternate art so there's going to be a couple in here missing just because i do have them in an actual deck right now so what you see technically won't be fully complete like so yeah so charizard's missing there along with a couple other cards i don't actually know if there's anything else missing out of the main set i did pull yeah wove it out there and then, yeah, no, this should be all fine with the artwork. Oh, that scissor looks so, so nice. There's such an awesome card. Same with, actually, uh, where is it? Cleffa. There we go. That one looks super, super nice as well. And then getting onto the actual juicy page again. The Zard's out. But I, you know, had to pull that out for a deck, and that's, you know, the way it is. But, yes, yeah, so we have all the other ones up here. Pidgeot into our alternate arts, of course. The big Charizard is definitely not going in a deck because that one is a little bit precious to me, and it is a nice card. I'd hate to ruin it by like shuffling it or something like that and then over here again gold zard is missing but the gita and poppy are still there along with the artisan and the fire energy so we'll close this one up and that leaves us with one binder to go which is going to be my like kind of bulk trade collection so i guess we can actually check that one out now so of course decked out with all the stickers that i threw on it because i like to make it look a little uh i guess a little funky i guess so we'll go through what I call the big bad binder right now. The uh, So we'll check out the first page here, which is going to be a lot of like gallery yellow 
order full arts, uh, especially like that Dialga there is super, super nice, along with Genesect looking awesome right there. A couple more cards over here, just from kind of Astral Radiance, Lost Origin, Brilliant Stars, Silver Tempest, that kind of era. And of course, that Flaffy up there looking nice. Mew, definitely one of my favorites in this binder as well, along with a couple others from Crown Zenith, getting into some promos down here, and obviously Torrentula right there. But as we flip the page, we'll see some more, getting into kind of the Scarlet and Violet era, a couple random ones thrown about too because everything gets mixed up in binders. A couple Radiant cards over here looking awesome, amazing rares, shinies. I guess this is kind of like my uh, my shiny section in the binder. I, I know it's kind of small, but uh, yeah, it, it, it is the way it is, so it's going to stay like that. But yeah, it's a little shiny section there. I believe the next ones up are, yes, all the Japanese ones. Zard, Raikou there looking very, very awesome. A bunch over here. Keldeo, definitely one of my favorites. I believe the ones from V-Star Universe, same with the... Uh, Mag Mortar one right there. A couple from 151, like that Mr. Mime up there. Curse Mr. Mime. And then a couple V-Stars over here. Uh, oh, a couple more Radiance. Amazing Rare Kyogre, which is super, super awesome. And then I think this page, other than Ting Lu and Copper Raja, is all 151, I believe. Yeah, a couple Art Rares down here. Charizard, a bunch over here. Ooh, definitely a spicy one there. The Master Bowl Mewtwo, if you guys didn't see that in the, uh, the one short I pulled it in, it is a super super spicy card. A little bit harder to see on camera and I believe I missed one more I did. The other Mewtwo over here, which of course will be a promo in the 151 UPC, but I actually do have the regular Japanese one right there. And now flipping past the Japanese page, we do have some V-Stars, or sorry, V-Maxes and V-Stars over here. A couple cool ones, nothing too crazy to report. I don't really put the uh, the crazy alternate arts in this section anyway, so these are just kind of the, the baseline V-Maxes and V-Stars, a couple promos down there, Cleavor, and then over here, I believe, yeah, so I try to keep it kind of typed by set, it, it usually falls apart the more you pull, but I believe they are, because this should be, I believe, Brilliant Stars, Astral Radiance, Lost Origin for those three, and then Silver Tempest and Crown Zenith. So look at that, I actually do have them fairly organized, which isn't too, too bad. Blank page here, of course, to keep a little space for some new cards coming in and out, same with that one there, and of course we have some EXs over here. Shiny Rayquaza there, obviously, is one of the best ones on this page. Shiny Yveltal also next to that, and then Mega Salamence, a good three to have on the top of the page there, along with Plasma, Dialga, an extra Tyranitar, which I believe we pulled in, I think, one of the XY videos, not too sure on that one, my OG EX Umbreon, which I pulled back in like 2016, I've had that card forever, and it will always stay in this binder, never gonna leave, but as we flip over here, you've definitely seen some of these pulled on the channel, obviously, Dancy was another one from 2016 that I pulled and called on to, but Mewtwo, Pidgeot, and Blastoise, I believe, were all pulled on the channel, along with pretty much all of these GXs should have been on the channel as well, I'm pretty sure, so yeah, some awesome stuff. Oh, I almost skipped a page there. Uh, Pikachu, which was a recent one, I think, in the tag team video, we actually pulled that one. Dragonite, pretty cool one up there for sure. And then over here into kind of my old school textured full arts, Giratina, Team Plasma there, obviously one of the all-time favorites on this page. Mega Latios, or Latios, I can't even read that. Mega Latios, okay, get them confused so much. Actually, I learned recently the only way you can tell them apart is by their eye color, and I still don't know the difference. But Articuno right there, Mega Scissor down there looking awesome. I believe that is Zygarde, Magearna, Pidgeot, Mega Steelix next to regular Steelix. Good to have both of those two together. And then the lonesome one on this page is going to be the Mega Venusaur, which is still a super, super nice one there. And now we're getting into the more, I guess, modern full arts coming in with uh, some Vs and I believe the V Union. This is the only V Union I have, but I mean, out of the ones to get, I think the Pikachu one is very, very nice. A couple promos down here like the Mewtwo V and the Shiny Zamazenta, because I do like Zamazenta more than Zafsian, but then we also have Salamence, Mimikyu, and again, I kind of tried to keep this typed out, but, or uh, by set list, but I think it kind of fell off recently. A couple more ones over here. Honestly, that Melmetal is pretty nice. Can't go wrong with that one. Uh, I believe Virzion, Gallade, Unknown, and then this page is going to be a little bit sparse right now, because a lot was pulled out recently for decks, but that's alright. And I believe, yeah, this page is empty. Over here, we are going to have some Flirt Trainers. Obviously, Wallace was a newer pull. I think that was last video or the video before we ended up pulling that one. Dender down there, a couple other ones over here, and I believe the next page 
Yeah, this is where the heat kind of kicks in, so this is kind of the alternate artwork page. I guess secret illustration also works now as a term, but as you can see, a bunch of cards down here. Honestly, this Giratina and Garchomp one is one of my favorite that I recently picked up. Mewtwo V along with the Mewtwo V Star, which is actually kind of creeping up in price recently, so definitely going to hold on to that one for a bit. Or Beetle, Duraludon V Max, I'm kind of not going in any particular order now. Samurott V Star there, obviously one of my favorites being this Giratina V Star here. I'm pretty close to putting this in my Giratina deck, I just don't know, but one that's definitely never leading the compounds of this binder is going to be the Mew EX from the Japanese 151, which is honestly such a crazy pull that we were able to get that on the channel. Honestly, it doesn't even do it justice on camera. I know there's a little glare on it, but like how that sunrise kind of works there. I guess you can kind of see it in there, but it's an insane card into Empoleon there, and then I believe my three dogs at the top. Gotta have them all together. They look so nice together. All right, then we can turn the page here with our lonely Iron Dread TX on the back there. Unfortunately, I guess he didn't make the cut for the main page. Still an awesome artwork. I don't know why he isn't on the main page, but uh, maybe I'll move him around after this video. <laughs> but over here, we do have some gold cards with a lot of my Mitsuhiro artworks, like my Volcanion, Xerneas, or sorry, not Xerneas, Yveltal EX. There is a Xerneas version of this card, and then Gardevoir there, so I do have both the Steam Siege Mitsuhiros, which is super, super nice. Alakazam, Mewtwo, Golden Zapdos, of course, going down into our Golden Pikachu and Zekrom promo. Duraludon VMAX, and there's also another one right there. And then I believe I do have the Rapid Strike Urshifu right there, which is super, super nice. Into our Flaffy, a couple miscellaneous gold cards, and that Samurai V-Star. And now we're getting towards the end. A couple rainbow cards here. I won't go too into depth, because there's nothing too crazy in here. Actually, one from Cosmic Eclipse, but flipping the page into... Oh, this is... This page is the best, isn't it, guys? This page is the best. All of my Sceptile cards right here, the rainbows, all the GXs, the EXs, the OG EX, which is actually the most expensive Sceptile card. I believe still it might be the Delta Species one now, but that one is definitely my favorite, especially with the little e-reader at the bottom, if you guys can even see that there if it focuses. But yeah, a bunch of cool ones here. The Celestial Storm stamped one is awesome. A couple ones from like actually the Pop series. I believe these two are both Pop series, uh, Trico and Grovile, but Septile as the uh, the one of the promos in the Unbroken Bonds three packs. A couple more Septiles over here, because I mean you can never have too many septiles. Yeah, so this page is are full with some grow vials too, which will probably get swapped out for more septiles. But yeah, this page is honestly awesome. And I believe behind this there's not too much. Just a couple miscellaneous cards, a couple secret earths, some evolutions, break cards down there. Because you know where else am I gonna put break cards in this binder? And then a couple more random kind of vintage era hollows, which are a little bit dinged up, but uh, nice pieces to have in the binder for sure. Alright, so now that we've taken an actual look at the binders, we need to take an actual look at the problem child of the room, which is going to be the collection shelf off to the side, which holds the binders and also a bunch of other bulk cards and sealed product that I'm waiting to open up and it's gotten a little out of control. So here she is in all her glory in the wreck that she is in with of course like collection figures are sitting all around here. Why is Arceus even here? But like, uh, oh man, like I've kept so many like couple like cool boxes that I thought I was like, oh, these will be neat to kind of keep as a, you know, a piece which now I've definitely changed my mind on, like, I do not need all this extra cardboard, like, this stuff needs to get thrown out. I have a couple random binders, like, these tins up here, which, like, what do I even need these for? And then a bunch of other tins over here, which honestly just hold, like, energies, which, you know what I mean? Like, it's just out of hand. And then over here is the sealed product that I'm kind of waiting to open up on the channel, so I have a couple tins back there, along with a couple mystery boxes, some MJ Holdings ones, I know that those are kind of cursed, but... There's a good amount of stuff that needs to get organized here. And to be honest, I think the plan here today is to kind of organize these out, get rid of all the extra tins up top that I don't really need, along with throw out a bunch of the old cardboard boxes that aren't really, you know, holding any value to them. Like, I'm just kind of holding on to them to hold on to them. And then also find a new home for these energy tins and probably Zacian, and, or sorry, not even Zacian and Zamazenta, Zamazenta and Zamazenta, because, you know, you got to have the regular and the shiny. But uh, uh, these figures, along with Arceus, will definitely be relocated to a new home today. But, yeah, I think without any further ado, let's kind of get to work on this and organize it out. All right, so update number one, I've cleared out a bunch of the stuff, moved this around, cleaned up this area so it's a lot more compact and actual nice right now. I know it's a little dark, but there are tins back there and there are boxes and that is all kind of nice. 
nice and compressed back there so it's not taking up a lot of space. I moved these over. I think we're going to move these around a little bit, and I don't know quite what we're going to do with all of these uh, kind of little booklets, like set booklets yet. So I do have a bunch of them from like pretty much every ETB I've opened. So we're going to have to find a new home for those and move these around to accommodate some new ETBs on the shelf too. All right, next update, I have added some more ETBs that are cataloged by, you know, so if it's HRRH, that is reverse hollows, or sorry, hollow rares and reverse hollows. And then down here, if you can see here, it is TSE for Trainers Special Energy. So all of these ETBs here are sorted along with the two actually at the top there. And then I do have one open one for trainers here, just in case I need to do like a quick search and try to dig out a trainer or energy really quick. I kind of have, I guess, quick access to it. And of course, nothing else has really changed in that. But the shelf is coming along a little bit better. I guess now we're going to add some binders in and kind of see what other space we have here to store stuff to. All right, so the binders have been added and they fit really, really nicely. Along with the little Ancient Origins binder back here, of course, it's black and it's a shadow, so you can't see it too well. But then also, I actually thought I could now add my double deck box in there, which, you know, I'll actually take a chance to quickly show off over here. I'll do a quick little uh, deck preview, I guess. So of course here we're gonna have our two decks. One of them is a Lost Box deck. The other one I'm trying out a Charizard EX deck, which I think I've mentioned if it doesn't fall out everywhere like eight or nine times, but these two will go in the double deck box over there, which, which will then go in the shelf over that way. Let's put the deck box on top of the playmat, which I have right there, slide that in, and that fits very, very nice and actually has room for more deck boxes over here, here, or even over here too, actually, which is pretty nice. Before it was kind of cramped and now I've spaced it out, giving myself a lot more room to operate and store stuff over here, which is super, super nice. So then other than that, I think that's where we're gonna kind of leave it off today. I like it, I think it's a little more organized. Do you guys think I should have done anything differently? As you can see, my Republic gunship peeking in there, we'll move that out of the way, but yeah, if you guys think I should have organized it any way differently or have any kind of tips on how you organize your cards, I would love to hear it down below. But anyways, this has been another episode of Nate Collects, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.